Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing so great. Today we're going to study a new topic, have to or has to. So, let's start. Have to, has to. This modal verb is considered semi-modal because it needs auxiliaries to make questions or negative sentences in the different tense it is conjugated. In this case, you need to use do or don't for first and second person and does or doesn't for third person. But later we're going to see some examples. It is used to talk about obligations and responsibilities, but this comes from the outside, so this means that someone else requires this, and it is a necessity. Have to is more informal, while must is mostly used in written orders or instructions. So, grammar structure. First, you have the affirmative form. Subject plus have to or has to if it is third person singular, the verb plus the complement. Examples. I have to go to work at six. She has to help her mother. That is like a, not an obligation, but you have to do that action, right? That is like a responsibility. Then you have the narrative form, subject plus don't or doesn't. Remember that we are going to use the auxiliary do or doesn't, depends on the subject, because have to is like a semi-model, so it needs to use an auxiliary. Plus verb, plus the complement. Examples. I don't have to do it. She doesn't have to do all the housework. Somebody else could have her, right? Then you have the interrogative. Auxiliary, do or does, depends on the subject. Plus, have to, plus verb, plus complement, and don't forget the question mark. Examples. Do you have to help? Yes, I do. No, I don't. So, here you have to answer with the auxiliary do, in this case, because you have you, that is the subject, right? And does she have to do the laundry? Remember that in this case, you don't need to use has to because you have the auxiliary does. That's why you have to write down the verb in the base form, in this case, have to. So, does she have to do the laundry? Yes, she does. In this case, the answer needs to use, or you need to use, right, does. Then you have the negative form. No, she doesn't. These are just no questions. Then you have the WH questions. Do you remember the WH words? Which, why, where, who, who, how, etc. Right? So, here you have the WH word plus do or does plus subject plus have to plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's see an example. What do they have to do? Do you remember that you have to answer then with a complete answer? Right? So, they have to do the dishes. So, you are using have to, right? For example, say, what does she have to do? She has to do the dishes, if it is with the third person singular, right? So, guys, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.